via text message and social media, which warned to take cover because of an imminent missile strike. Again, we are being told that that, that was sent by error. In other words, there was a test going on, but it went out. It was never meant to go out publicly. Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard tweeted this out moments ago. Hawaii, this is a false alarm. There is no incoming missile to Hawaii. I have confirmed with officials there that no missile is incoming. Uh, to talk more about this, I want to bring in CNN National Security Analyst Juliet Kayam. Um, what do we know about how this all came about, Julia? It would be terrifying. Well, since it's all, I know it is. Um, so uh, every emergency management agency is constantly testing their systems, in particular systems of communication, and more specifically, the use of social media to get information out. Think of an evacuation or a blizzard warning or whatever else. So they have to test these systems uh, based on um, you know how fast they can do it, what areas do they want to tell. Uh, thankfully, uh, this test was just that, a test. And so the odd thing is, is uh, normally these go out with, you know, either, you know, this is a this is a test or, you know, this is a, you know, we're just testing the systems rather than uh, the text that did go out um, uh, to a lot of people. It was, I should say, it was quickly corrected, but it does tell you in this day and age uh, how quickly the, the, the mistake gets spread and how hard it is to sort of put the genie back in the bottle. Right. And of course, you know, as we know, with the tensions that have been with North Korea and right. the vulnerability of Hawaii, where it sits up in the middle of the Pacific, there is reason that people would not just sort of brush this off. Yeah, exactly. And so, um, and this is the, the equally troublesome aspect of this is um, the good news is, let me just say this, is that it wasn't a hack. For a few minutes, I thought it might have been a hack. And that to me would be very terrifying because it could mean that an outside source was trying to, to sort of manipulate U.S. government uh, communications, which would then trigger a response. So that is at least the good news that we have to make sure that those systems of alert are prote protected from outside. Uh, but uh, but obviously, given the threat that Hawaii feels like it's in, that the United States feels like it's in, a mistake like this is, I don't want to say it's unforgivable, but boy, we better learn from it because mm -hmm. um, uh, we have to test the systems, but we also have to have the public have confidence in the systems of communication. And, the, and if there's a mistake like this, uh, what if the next one says tsunami warning um, because there's been an earthquake and people go, oh, it's another test, it's another mistake. So right. uh, really important for people to have confidence in these systems. And this is a, a mistake and, a, and, and backward sliding in that regard. Julia, did this in any way trigger the emergency broadcasting system? You know, that the tone that we're all so familiar with when they say this is just a test. Did, did that go off? No, it didn't. So uh, people, and this is how people who were following in real time, like me, sort of knew that it was probably a mistake, was that the television systems, which are on a different system from the social media platforms, um, uh, uh, were the, the TV stations were showing games and, and, uh, and football and whatever else. So that was the first hint that this was a mistake. They're on different platforms for, for, for a variety of reasons. They're actually owned by uh, different entities and, of course, are, are overseen by different uh, government regulators. So uh, that's not surprising. Um, and it looks like uh, Hawaii, we'll find out more in the next couple hours, was testing its social media emergency management apparatus in in uh, conjunction with its traditional uh, emergency management communications. Um, and, you know, because they have to in this day and age, you have to communicate with people through Facebook mm -hmm. and Twitter. This just went out so quickly with the with the absolutely wrong language. I mean, there nothing should ever be drafted that has language like that unless it's actually happening and, and someone forgot to put this as a test um, uh, on the draft language. And we should reiterate to anyone who may be tuning in and wondering what we're talking about. There has been an alert that went out on social media in Hawaii that was warning of an incoming ballistic missile. That is not true. It is an error that was made and apparently the information went out when it definitely should not have gone out. Um, Juliet, did this go out on people's cell phones, you know, those kind of automatic text, or was it just on social media? I just saw it on social media, so I don't want to answer uh, that question yet, just because I don't know. It's just happened so quickly. My suspicion, or at least based on previous exercises, is that this was a text alert and Twitter alert system, both simultaneously. Um, I only saw it through social media, uh, so don't know um, if they were communicated that way. Part of, obviously, testing these platforms is to make sure you can communicate 
accurately with as many people as possible. Uh, that's a good goal. Uh, but each time you get it wrong, the public is going to have less confidence in the system. So Hawaii, Hawaii leadership should get out there quickly, explain what happened uh, so that people can have uh, uh, confidence in the system. I know I may be asking you things that, you know, it's too early to try to discern, but so this is on the state level, this error, not on the federal level? Yeah, so this is coming from the Hawaii emergency management side. So they're probably tested. In fact, one of the there was a reporter um, uh, who contacted NORAD, so that NORAD oversees uh, the potential for incoming missiles, uh, uh, federal, obviously, um, uh, military uh, entity uh, and command. Uh, NORAD said, we're not seeing anything. We didn't put anything out. And that's actually what began the process of understanding that what was coming on the state side uh, was inaccurate. Look, there's there's and any crisis, whether it's a new, you know, missiles, which are absolutely terrifying, or, or a tsunami or a fire, you know, you're going to want to align local, state, and federal uh, communication strategies. That generally happens. Uh, what happened here was one of those entities was just testing. That's pretty common. Um, and and in some ways, fortunately, because the federal government was not part of it, it was able to say. Uh, this was a, a big mistake. All right, hold on, Juliet. I want to bring in our global affairs correspondent, Elise Labatt. And Elise, you've got a statement or you got some new information? That's right, Marty. I have a statement from the spokesman of PACOM. That's the U.S. Uh, command in Hawaii that does the Pacific. Mm. Um, the spokesman, Commander David Benham, says on the record, uh, U.S. PACOM has detected no ballistic missile threat to Hawaii. Earlier message was sent in error. Hawaii, state of Hawaii will send out a correction message as soon as possible. Now, obviously, uh, you know, Twitter was blowing up with the idea that so many people um, were getting this text, um, and it was unclear whether it was a hoax or, you know, a false message. Clearly, um, as this missile threat continued to, uh, you know, be leaving Hawaiians very concerned about what their missiles thought, you could understand that the state of Hawaii has been doing contingency planning, possibly even getting these messages ready um, for the event that there was a missile threat. So, mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, Pac Command will uh, put out some more information about how this came to be. But right now, um, the state of Hawaii um, sending that message in error. Yeah, the, the Pacific Can Command, clearly something? they would know. Yeah, Julia, go ahead. Yeah, and it's, I think it's somewhat outrageous at this stage that they haven't sent out a correction. I'm not on, on Twitter right now, but maybe someone can confirm that. But uh, the mistake is known. Um, uh, until and, we haven't uh, seen they, one. Yeah, until, until we haven't seen one. I mean, this is, look, if you're going to use systems that are fast, you better use them quickly to, to, to get the correction. You know, it's been at least 20 minutes. Um, emergencies and disasters, the world I live in, they happen in real time. People react in real time. So if you don't correct the communication immediately, even though you and I and Elise know that this was a false alarm, um, part of assurances in the system that we want from the public uh, means that it's on Hawaii 20 minutes ago, uh, but certainly uh, now, if they haven't yet, uh, to remedy the mistake and to come out with an explanation. Right. right. Um, I think that's why PACCOM put out that statement that it did yeah. as soon as it knew, because obviously when you're talking about military affairs, um, they don't want any kind of, you know, miscalculation or anything that's like right. that. You know, what if, you know, in this heightened kind of state of rhetoric and, um, you know, these lo uh, threats going back and forth between President Trump, Kim Jong-un, who knows, you know, who could misinterpret something, and sure. then you have this totally unintended consequence, which yeah. is why I think Pac Command wanted to get out what it right. knew right away, and hopefully we'll see something from the state of Hawaii very soon. Yeah, I mean, that's an excellent point. Yeah. That is one of the gravest concerns when you start talking about this environment in which we live, the spontaneity, spontaneity of, of communication, but the confusion that can come about. And, Absolutely. You know, if, if North Korea or some other nation that might be hostile to the U.S. sees this, they might say, wait a minute, this could be a false indicator of something coming our way. Um, right. And, and that's the misunderstandings that right. trigger horrible events. Um, Julia, do we know, was this um, a, a, an exercise that was underway? Yeah. Is that right? I don't know if it was the different kinds of exercises. There's some tabletops. There's actually real exercises that, that people are moving around that the military often does. 
Um, and then there's some things like communications exercises where they're just testing the networks to make sure, uh, you know, do they get bounce backs? Do, um, capacity is a huge issue with alert systems in terms of can you put, push messages out? So whether there was a physical component to the communication size, we don't know yet. Uh, I'll say it again, it's 20, it's a couple, you know, it's, it's more than five minutes later. Um, we should be uh, getting some corrections, one would hope, um, 20 minutes ago, uh, and an explanation beyond this was a mistake. Um, I will say the protocols are generally, you would never write text like that. Exactly. Uh, that, mm -hmm. uh, that the text would be covered. Every, in fact, sometimes we write them where every other word is draft um, or test so that you make sure right. that anyone who reads it knows that there's a test or it's a, um, a draft exercise. So something, a lot of things went wrong, um, but uh, it's, on, it's on Hawaii to fix it um, so that Hawaiians who are obviously very concerned about what's going on now, once again, it comes back to uh, you know confidence, confidence, confidence. We have to have confidence in these systems 